Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Surveys. We are doing a Dollar Tree ornament with these plastic Dollar Tree light bulbs. So we're going to try and make it really pretty. Um, if you're interested in the rice paper that I'm going to be using, this honestly, like I'm making it so that it'll hang on the Christmas tree, but you could... Um, tone it down a little and or even I'm putting snow on it if you want you can keep it up at least through the winter months too if you don't do that part you could even keep this up year round all right I'm gonna get started Dollar Tree plastic I don't worry about cleaning it up or anything Let's see I probably oh I was gonna get the rub and buff out we'll see if we need to do that I maybe don't need to do it all right, so I'm going to take the top off. We're going to use this, though. Uh, I may decide to put a different hanger on, but we're going to use it for now. We're going to play in that. All right, plastic. We're going to use, these are Reba Rose rice papers. Aren't they beautiful? I'm going to use, I was debating which ones to use. I think I'm going to use the one with the cardinal and... It's, I don't know if it's a male cardinal and female, if, if that's supposed to be a female. I mean, our females don't look like that, but maybe it's supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and just get that cut out. So I've just got a wet brush. And you can tear it too. But I'm just going to take the wet brush around on it. And it helps tear it. A little easier let me just get down to where I need to tear and I'll tear along that line so if you have a water brush you can do that too but I just have this brush that I think I'm dipping in water but it's not going in just running it around you can also just tear it just be careful when you're tearing it Did you say that is rice? It is rice paper, Laura. It is. So I did put a link that you should be able to see right now. I have an affiliate link with Reba Rose. It's gorgeous. So. All right. I love rice paper. I love the jagged edges. That just blends right in. We don't need... We don't need any more of that. Where am I going to put it? Put it behind me. We're going to go ahead and get this ready. So I had debated on, so this is going to be going on here like this. I had debated on doing the vintage white, but I think I'm going to do it as white, white chalk paste. what do you think i'm just going to trim this down a little more what do you think do you think you like vintage do you think you would like this as see i think it's got some white in it do you think you would like it as white or as vintage a vintage white which is sort of like a yeah, you know what vintage kind of white looks like it's more of like a yellowish Down. let's go with white oh oh I got I got some people saying vintage white vintage white okay well then maybe we'll go vintage so I would be using you know it, it'll work it, it'll work I'm going to be using the folk art vintage white Hello from Texas. Hello, Susan. Hello, hello. All right, let's squeeze that out. And I'm going to use a dauber. All right, if I need to get really good coverage with that, we're going to just daub that on. These are just cheap. You can get them at Dollar Tree. And I love the texture you're going to get from it. But if you 
spread this with a brush. I find, you know, you do have problems with it lifting up. It, it's just not as good coverage. So I like this texture. The texture ain't going to completely stay. It'll be more like when it's done, it's going to be when it dries. If you don't do anything else to it, it'll be like almost, you know, like your orange peel texture that that you even see on drywall and stuff. That's what it would be like. But we are going to do something on it. You're really not even going to see. You'll see some color behind it. But that'll be about it. All right. I get right up to that edge. I don't want to go on top of the rim of it up here, though, because that's where the topper is going to go back on. And now the more I think about it, I think the, that silver will work. Um, otherwise, I'll grab the rub and buff and just test it on a different little part. That I have one rub and buff here that I maybe would try on that topper, but we'll see. I think we're going to get away with just one coat of this, too, doing this where you don't normally with glass or plastic. And I did not prep it at all. I didn't take any kind of vinegar to it or anything like that. All right, look at the coverage on it, though. Isn't that awesome? Let's grab a bag. Put my little dauber in there in case I need to fix something. Just dry it up. It just has to be really, really dry. All right. Okay. Okay. This is hot enough and, and all done. All right. So this was just the Dollar Tree clear plastic ornament. Pretty dry. Now I already ripped out. This was from the rice paper that I have. If you're interested in rice paper, um, I put it somewhere. This was just one of, one of, I have quite a few. I showed last week from Reba Rose. I did put a link on there. This one is so pretty. You can even use like these down here, that area. Um, but this is just little ones that you can tear out. And that's what we're putting on here. And then we're going to decorate. Now, because it's got, it, it has that bend you want to try and get it down so i'm going to tear all the way around it a little bit the star party is getting there hello judy from a chris 50 57 is not chris that sounds beautiful to me so i'm going to take and do tears around and hopefully i'll be able to get it to lay as flat as i can i'm okay with some wrinkles but i would like it to lay sort of flat so i'm just taking tears around it on yeah if you're not familiar with Reba Rose her rice papers are just gorgeous they're they're gorgeous and they're reasonable and you know somebody asked the other day shipping it's reasonable um, it just they're beautiful so all right so I did tear up the edges we're gonna try and put it down as flat as we can and I am using gloss Mod Podge it's the gloss use matte if you like I usually use matte but for Christmas ornaments for some reason I'm liking gloss all right let's just use we're gonna use this brush I think and I'm just going to brush area that's gonna be big enough for that and then we're gonna be brushing the whole bulb so don't be afraid to do too much you know if you get it up above too far you know that's okay because we're going to be brushing the whole bulb with this gloss i'm starting to get into sparkle and gloss i'm i'm actually liking it all right so we're just going to lay this on here and start patting it down before it dries and you can push out some of the wrinkles 
Rice paper is a lot more forgiving than napkins. You can lift it up again if they're like if you've made a mistake, you can lift it up. It's not going to tear. But just get that down all the way around the best you can. Now you're going to get some wrinkles. It's starting to dry in here already. Push it down. There. So I am going to continue pushing a little bit. So we've got a few wrinkles. It's okay. You're not going to get away from that completely when you're using a round object like this. But just push down and get all the air bubbles out that you can. All right, and then we're going to go through and do this whole ornament with that Mod Podge again. So this is the gloss I'm using. Use whatever kind you want or whatever kind of Mod Podge or sealer that you have you can use. Like I said, I'm using gloss. I'm starting to get into a little bit of sparkle. All right, I do need to do get it on my finger because we want to do the whole ornament again. Make sure you get all those sides sealed down and it'll dry clear. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you, everybody. All right. Turn it, make sure you get all the way around. Now, if you were not going to cover this whole thing, you maybe would have wanted to give it a second coat of the paint, but it's going to be covered. Okay, I think we got it all done. Let me just make sure I have this sealed down good because this part is not going to be covered. All right, I'm debating on what what way I'm going to do my next my next step. Which step I'm going to do next? Um, I have these little pearls that I feel I want to put around inside of here, but we're also going to be putting some snow around here. So I'm just debating on the direct on um, which I'm gonna put this on first if the snow will cover it up too much. Maybe not. It might be easier. I'm gonna use my scissor as my holding device. All right, and then let's just take these pearls. So I did not play with these earlier, but I've used these pearls all the time. Like, you know, pearls, you can get them in. I think red would be pretty on here. That would be gorgeous too. But I think I like, I like these pearls. And they're stick-on. I have off-white ones that I put on that banner back there. I don't know if you can see it. But on every one, I put a strip of pearls somewhere on each one of them. So I'm just going to gradually take this off and we're going to lay this on this edge. Like I said it's already got a stick on it. So we can go right around. If not, if there's if you lose the stick of it, then just um use a little bit of glue. I 
hope I don't cover it. I am going to, like I said, put some um, snow on here. So I hope I don't lose my snow. Or my, I hope my snow doesn't go over my pearls. That's the only thing I was vasculating on. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. And let's start a new strip. I get these. This is Paper Studio. I get these at Hobby Lobby. You can probably get them at any craft store. Look how easy that is. Put that on. It's pretty round. Pretty round. Yeah, these are Paper Studio. Every couple weeks they go on sale. So this was $1.99 for these, but every couple weeks they're on sale. All right, so I'm going to get my snow text out. Let's get a paper towel here too. Uh oh, am I froze? All right. So, all I'm going to do, and I don't have a popsicle stick here, I am using my little shish kebab or my, my chopsticks. And we're just going to piece a little on at a time. And this is snow tack. You can make your own snow if you want. I know, I know. I noticed that I went away. I'm sorry. My signal's been not that great lately. Yeah, I don't know why. All right. So I'm just going to take a little bit at a time on and do whatever way is easiest for you. I'm just going to take little at a time and I'm going to be pressing that up against those pearls and we're just making like a trim so this is going to be a little time consuming again so again whatever way works for you you want to use your fingers go ahead and use your fingers I may end up having to do that too for a little bit It doesn't always want to cooperate. You can use a popsicle stick. Also, paintbrush really doesn't, it doesn't really stay on a paintbrush to, that would be difficult. Look at all that pretty that's getting. Has Facebook been like that all the while? I, I mean, like I said, it's been terrible for me. And now I have an issue where a few weeks ago I couldn't see my feed. I couldn't see um, the feed of people and I had to go in to see it a different way. And then that had come back and now it's gone again. <laughs> so I can't see regular, the normal way of seeing people's posts. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just pushing it up against those beads and giving it that little trim all the way around the outside. Oh, it's so cute. That's so nice. <laughs> so we're just going to go around on this whole thing. Then we're going to dry it up a little bit and then you'll see what I'll do. The next part will be really messy. I always try and figure out what, what part to do first when you're doing messy in a lot of places. That's just gorgeous. You could just leave it like this when you're done. 
You could just leave it like this when you're done. Okay, just piece that in. Almost all the way around. I'd say I'm about two thirds of the way around. And then I'll just go back and look to see if there's anything that I missed. I was going to put jute around on that inside. So if you want to do something like that, make it a little more rustic, you know, go ahead and do that. Because I may use jute on here yet. We'll see. All right, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I said, if you have an easier way of doing it, go ahead and do it because I know this probably is not the easiest way. But if it works for eating for shish kebabs, or not even shish kebabs, if it works for easy eating for with chopsticks, it should work on crafting too, right? That's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? How do you like that? I'm loving that. All right, let's just, we're going to just wipe that a little bit and put this aside because we're going to, we might need this again. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's so pretty. So pretty. And you can mix um, paint in snow text too to make it a color. You can. All right, and then it just gives you the texture that you want. I want to dry this up some. You don't want to concentrate heat right on it because it melts it and bubbles it up. You don't want that. I still want this texture, but then we're going to go on top of it with Mod Podge yet. We got all kinds of sealers we're using here today. It's definitely getting hot, but beautiful. I love cardinals. How many of you like cardinals? You know, this, you could just call this done. You honestly could, but I'm going to make it messy. <laughs> Do I want to? You know what? We're, we're going to sparkle today. We're going to sparkle. We're going to sparkle. All right, I think that's my next step. Snow here. I think this is Dollar Tree snow, honestly. Let me get a plate up here. I had it from last year. This is just a plastic, a plastic from Dollar Tree. A plastic, clear plastic, and I painted it. So it's Dollar Tree. You could use glass. You could use whatever. But it, I mean, this looks. This is looking high end for a clear plastic. I didn't clean it with um, anything either. I didn't wipe it off. I didn't do anything like that. I just left it like it is. All right, we're going back to our Mod Podge. We're gonna make some mess. No, cardinals, and, so, and that's when you see the cardinals the most, right? Really do see them. All right, where's my brush? All right, I'm going to Mod Podge right on top of here. Try not to get on the pearls because I, I don't want the pearls to be covered. This is also going to help seal so that this doesn't go anywhere when it's all dry. It's not going to crumble off or anything. But I'm putting a really nice heavy coat on here. Trying to see where all I've gotten. 
And it's good to do a heavy coat because then it's not going to dry in between before we put some of that snow on here. I say you could have stopped already. You wouldn't have to do this next step, but we got to right? We got to go for it. All right. Let's put that there. We're going to sprinkle some of this snow on here. I believe this is Dollar Tree snow that I got last year. If I'm not mistaken, it's Dollar Tree. I mean, otherwise, you I know you can get it at Dollar Tree if it's not already. Look at that, too. Isn't that pretty? But now we're doing the whole thing. Thank you for passing me on, Peggy. We're doing the whole thing now. All right. I don't want the middle there, though. All right, so we're just going to do it in steps. That's where I said it doesn't matter really that you only did one coat on here because you're not going to see. You're not going to see. How many of you like sparkle? I'm not always a sparkle person, but I'm getting there. And then I'm going to get up and spray this with Mod Podge. And you're going to get some of the sparkle in your Mod Podge when you do it this way, but it is what it is. This will be easy cleanup. Honestly, I have my plate here. I'm gonna press that in a little bit. Oh, that's awesome, Laura. That's awesome. That was so sweet of someone to do that for you. Very nice. What a blessing. All right, I'm almost all the way around. And then I'm going to get up and spray. Last section. Let's get it up above there. And I'll check if we missed any place too. All right, I think, I think we have enough. Oh, Laura, thank you for the stars. They all are so sweet. All right. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, I think I'm done with the Mod Podge, and I think I'm done with the snow. Let me put this brush away. I put my snow in my bag. Oh, 
I just touch my finger there. Just get it out of my way. And I'm just going to dry a little bit, I think, first before I spray it. I just push it down on what's on the plate. So I think I'm going to just try and dry. No, I'm not going to dry. Well, let's try. We're going to have a mess. Let me just see. Get at least all the extra off and see if I can. Not much is coming off. That's good. I'm going to step out and spray. I have Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer, the gloss also. We're going to go spray everything. I'm in Wisconsin. Thank you for passing me on. All right. All right, I just gave it a good coat of this Mod Podge. It's the gloss sealer. We're going to dry that a little bit again. <laughs> Nanny, where are you from? Or Jan is Janet, where are you from? From the Nanny's Nook Crap. Gorgeous. I wish you could see all the sparkle that I could see. I wish you could see all that sparkle. All right. So I have a couple things that I was thinking of doing with decorating. Now, let me put this down. Now I have I have a couple of these little berries. We may we may use them. Toma, I know where Toma is. I've gone through there a lot. Toma's on the other side of the state for me though, but we have relatives in Eau Claire. All right, so I've got this branch from Dollar Tree. No, not Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to pull one of them off. We might need another one. I'm not sure. All right, and we might use these little glass beads. I'm not sure. Uh, we have little, little paper flowers we might use. We have little... Pip berries. I love these. These are they're they're very unusual looking pip berries. I love them. So we have them. We have um I already did the pearls on. We would have of course we'll have to use a button. And we might be using jute. And we have we have all kinds and we have little red here. So we're gonna we're gonna decorate this up. 
So my thought on this is I'm going to put this across here. I, you know, this is just so pretty. I just feel like I shouldn't even do anything else to it. I just feel like I shouldn't do anything. You know, and I could put, or I could just put a little bit of red on it like that. I like the idea of having a little bit of, of green. And this lighter green, it's just, it's light and more airy. I might just add a little something, unless I just do that at the top. I'm getting some of that off. I may have to touch up that bottom part with my fingers. Um, the other thing I have here, one of my sweet following friends sent me like these pearl snowflakes or these little, there's little ones in here too. So I may end up putting there's these little silver with little rhinestones. Oh, if I put that on there, I don't think I have to do much to this. I don't know that I want much greenery. If anything, I'm going to do it maybe on the top with, I'm thinking we're going to do add a little jute, which sounds weird. Um, let's just look at it. I'm just going to hold that in there for now. Just adding a little jute around this up here, I think adds a little bit of a finish and it sort of ties in, you know, the little bit rustic of the birds. What do you think? I just, I just feel sometimes things are so pretty, I'm afraid to do anything else to it. All right, so this one is Spanish copper. I'm just gonna try it on an extra one that I have here. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Can you see that? I'm gonna put that on there. I guess I can finish it on this one. It stinks though. It smells. Do you like the idea of having um, jute on the top? Okay, toned it down a little bit. I 
always take and paint it after, but I think that's actually sort of pretty. But I can paint it. I'm, I may end up going back and painting it. So let's just look if we do a little bit of jute and then maybe a little bit of green coming down because that green I think is more delicate. All right, so let's just get this jute on here. I'm going to just start it, you know, do I want it someone here? No. I'm going to start it right on the back. And wrap it around a few times. Just a few times. Okay, so we got the jute on there. Still debating on the greens. We need a little bit of green. I just have this branch left is all I have of this kind of of green all right but then and we're probably gonna do like a little jute whoops you can't even see that a little jute bow let me just put these on here or maybe some of those red um, little berries on Like that. I have to center it. <laughs> it helps if you center it. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference when you center it. Well, look. Now, these are going to be too big. Let's get this pip berry up here. Add some of that red down there like that. Move that back here. Trying to fasten this down so it's not going to go anywhere. Thank you.
a little bit behind this green too to get that tucked down a little bit too. It's going to be so pretty, so pretty. Now I may end up putting one up too, but let's see. Let's get a little... Let's get this all fastened together and then we're going to get that little snowflake on here um, maybe a little jute bow i don't ha you know i don't have regular diamond dust and i would love to do diamond dust in the center um i should get it today or tomorrow from amazon i've got more ordered i do not have the kind i have is not a, a regular diamond dust and it, it's just a glitter it does not work good for this it covers too much but that would be gorgeous to put diamond dust in the center of that too. All right, so this is going to, okay, let's just do a little jute, little jute bow. Hello, Sherry. Sherry from Sherry's Creative Designs. Make sure you're putting your page. I'm just doing a little finger bow. I have one out on my YouTube channel that if you want to see, I always said I'm going to redo it because it's hard to see from that one, but you know, I feel like I almost want a different bow on here too. I'm going to put a third, a third leaf of also, but I'm going to get a different bow. I won't do that right now. I, I won't do that on my live. Unless I decide that just a button will do, but I don't think it will. I could use a bigger, one of these bigger snowflakes from my sweet follower. Maybe I don't need a bow then. That would actually be pretty. So I have this little, oh, I love that little snowflake too, though. But that's almost too much. That That's too much. I'm going to put just that little snowflake there let me see if there's a different snowflake yet otherwise i'm gonna put that little snowflake i think that's enough i really don't even need a bowl then let's look at that one let's look at this smaller no no i just feel those are too big i think if I just put that little snowflake on there like that, that might be really cute. I may go, I'm not going to put it on right now because I may end up getting a bowl. I think it's just so pretty the way it is. Um, I, I just planned on adding and going around, but with all that snow and everything, I just think it turned out so beautiful. Yeah, it's rice paper. So I have um, my Reba Rose affiliate link. You should be able to see the pin there. It was, all right, so I just used one of them on here. And this was a Dollar Tree plastic little clear ornament. That's all it was. And it just looks so high end now. It's just beautiful. Let me hold it up close. So I think I'm going to just stop now because if I do add, it might be just a little tiny, um, maybe a tiny little piece of lace or something on there up here, just a tiny piece and maybe that snowflake on top of it. But I think that's all that I'm going to do for it. I think we're just good like this. Yeah, thin red ribbon might be a good idea too. So, yeah, I love, yeah. I think it's, it is just going to be something really, really tiny 
that's going to be behind the snowflake because I don't want the snowflake to get lost in it either. Um, but I do, I do love the red. I love the green. I think it's just enough. So, um, but yeah, I do. I th and I think by putting maybe a little piece of lace on there, just a little piece, you'll see the snowflake better too. So we'll see. We'll see. But no, I think it's just gorgeous. So I'll take a picture when it's all done. But isn't that gorgeous? I think it's, it's just so pretty and elegant and, and sparkly. I wish you could see the sparkle that I see. But yeah, if I had diamond dust, which I should have later, <laughs> either later today or tomorrow, I think my shipment should come. That would be so pretty in that center too. Just to add that sparkle would be gorgeous too. So, all right, y'all have a good one and I hope we'll see you soon.